Okay, hi and welcome to a installation video. We are doing a suspension upgrade to the Hilux. We are doing terrain tamer suspension and tie rod ends because my tie rod ends are shot. So yes, I'm going to show you guys. Michael and I are already busy. I'm going to be rushing around a lot because he's always two steps ahead of me. And then with the suspension, we have the smart coils. We have the smart coils as well, which I'll explain to it when we get there. And then with the smart coils, yeah, we also have the parabolic leaf springs that are going in as well. So let the installations begin. Okay, well, Michael's working so quick, it's literally been like two minutes. I just filmed the intro. Both front shocks are out already. Uh, front shocks are over there. They're taking the, we just need the top hat. So they are compressing it, taking the top hat off. Spaces has to come out for this. So spaces are coming out because the new shocks are longer. So they give about a 30 to 50 mil lift depending on how you install them. Um, so they actually wanted to measure actually from the ground what my new like ground clearance is gonna be or ride height, but it's all happening so quick, I'm not getting there. Anyway, suspension is out front and back, so they're doing that now. I'll go film somehow, they're taking the top hat off of the, or compressing the coil, taking the top hat off, and then the new ones are going in. So let's get over there now. coil here is new coil wait up to close the old coil new coil so it should give me a bit of a lift there we go and they're pretty heavy so okay let me take this to Michael so here are my old shocks and if you remember hang on let me get that closer there we go that's not very straight anymore but yeah if you remember I jumped my Hilux in the dunes so I wonder if that isn't maybe from there whoops and then they are also not very yeah, they're also not very in working order anymore. So it was a good time for a suspension upgrade. Hello, camera, focus. There we go. Thank you. It was a good time for a suspension upgrade. Like it's still going up and it's bent. So yeah, good time. Okay, so front is done. They've done the shocks in the front and the tie rod end in the front is done. They're honestly even faster than a Red Bull's pit crew. Like I can't keep up with them. Um, now they're busy with the back shocks, so back, uh, not shocks, well, yeah, shocks, shocks and leaf springs are going in now. Michael over there is setting up the leaf springs, so they are next on the list. But yeah, they are working so quick, I'm not getting half of the shots I need, but it's being done, so that's all I can thank them for. parabolic leaf springs it goes a bit dark you can't see but it goes from th super thick over here you can sort of see the thickness over there and then it goes thinner the further out it goes so the thin the small thinner pieces are meant to take the smaller bumps and then obviously the thick uh, pieces are meant to take the much bigger hard impacts and weight as well so the more weight you put in the more part of the or the thicker part of the leaf spring it uses so with the bumps the smaller the bump well, the bigger the bump, the more of the thickness it uses. That's how the parabolic system should, in theory, work. Or, well, it does work, I guess. done it's massive lift and now we I'm gonna jump out and now we are just checking alignment quickly 
by I. Then tomorrow I'll get it properly done. Well, it's standing on a thing, but the back is just just above shoulder height. That is insane. It does. <laughs> I can put all foot in there. Clot. Thank you. Oi. And there we go. The suspension is in. The terrain timer suspension has been fitted into my car and I am very happy. Now, terrain timer suspension is supposed to lift the car 40 mils at a maximum, but I think my old suspension was so done for, you would push it in and it would just stay down. That I think the whole car sags already by itself. So with this in, the ground clearance and the body, body height is a lot higher than I expected, than anyone expected actually. I mean, I can get a whole foot between the wheel and the foot well. Uh, also put new tires on, so that helped with the raisingness, raisingness, the rise of the vehicle. But the load bin is now like shoulder height, the uh, door over here is now workbench height instead of down here. So yeah, I'm very happy with it. This is the mid-weight suspension, which means it's riding a bit harder than it should at the moment because it's been kitted out for, or the suspension is being, that has been put in is made for more weight. But I still need to add a back bumper, a winch, a thing over here, a lid with a roof rack and a, a rooftop tent and thousands more of, of mods. So it is all to accommodate those things that still need to come in so that I don't have to redo my suspension later again. So it is riding a bit harder than it should, but still softer than the OEM suspension, I feel. And it also has a lot more articulation. I was on a 4x4 route this weekend, and it's, I was told that the articulation is very good from the outside. And I can feel it when driving as well, when you go through cross axles, you feel the tires searching for the ground and sticking to the ground and looking for the ground. It's not just up in the air the whole time anymore. So yeah, I'm very happy. I'm happy that I got off the ground a little bit more. I'm happy with the suspension. I've had a fully loaded car. I've tested it over multiple terrain already. And so far, so good. I'm very happy. It will run a lot smoother and better when it's right weight onto the, onto the suspension. But so far, so good. So I tried to do a comparison between the stock and the aftermarket suspension for you guys. I did a few obstacles. I did a crossover obstacle, which I shall have a before and after of so that you can see the difference in articulation. Then I did a little bit of a slalom to see what the body roll of the car did. So on the left, you will have your OEM suspension. Well, not very well OEM suspension, used OEM suspension. And on the right, you will have the terrain tamer suspension. So I did a bump test for you guys as well. That's now the new scientific name. I drove it over harsh terrain at a higher speed than what I should have, just to see how the car bounces up and down, how the car moves and handles the bumps. So again, on the left, you have your OEM suspension and on the right, you have the terrain tamer suspension and you can see how they handle the bumps separately. So if you have aftermarket shocks in your vehicle, let me know what it is and how it has changed your riding experience. I am very happy with this terrain timer suspension so far and it'll just get better the more things I add, which will all come with time. But yeah, let me know in the comments below how you've experienced your suspension. If you have terrain timer suspension, that's also great. Let me know if you have that. But for now, I shall test it even more on some 4x4 routes and hopefully see you guys out there in the bush somewhere. Cheers.